Good day and peace be with you. Our reading for today given to us by the Presbyterian Church of Ghana on July the 11th, 2024 is taken from the book of James, chapter 4, verses 13 to 17. And the topic they've asked us to focus on is Tomorrow does not belong to you. Let us listen to the word. Now listen, you who say, Tomorrow or today, we will not go to this or that city. Spend a year there, carry on on business and make money. Why? You do not even know what will happen tomorrow. What is your life? You are a mist that appears for a while and then vanishes. Instead, you ought to say, if it is the Lord's will, we all will live and do this or that. As it is, you boast in your arrogant schemes. All such boasting is evil. If anyone then knows the good they ought to do and doesn't do it, it is sin for them. Here ends our reading for today. Thanks be to God. Now do take the time to listen to the message from Reverend Foster Ampofo. Stay blessed. The peace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ be with you all. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us all rejoice and be glad in it. We thank God for the opportunity He has granted us to see another day. The God of all grace has made it possible for us to meet and to experience His mighty days in our lives. Our theme for reflection today is tomorrow does not belong to you. Tomorrow does not belong to you. James 4, 13 to 17 says that Go to now, ye that say, today or tomorrow will go into such a city and continue there a year and buy and sell and get gain. Whereas you know that you know what shall be on tomorrow, on the morrow. For what is your life? It is even a vapor that appears for a little time and then vanish away. For he, for that ye ought to say, if the Lord will, we shall live and do this or that. But now you rejoice in your boastings. All such rejoicing is evil. Therefore, to him that knoweth to do good, and does not, does it not to him? It is sin. Nya unim papa ye na wanye no or se a ye boni emano. Yes, reura de se obebo aye. Yes, reura de se obedum akaya hu. Ya uni to me, na ni unyam enen abasa ewo yesu demo. O se, men can say tomorrow the bachina me ye. But if it goes in the will or willing of God, if God's will, if God's God permit me, I will do it. Because you are not going to do it with your own strength. You are not going to accomplish it with your own strength. Whatever you do, you are being empowered by the Holy Spirit to accomplish it. That's why the Bible says that a man can do nothing unless it is given unto him from above. I pray that whatever you and I will do is my prayer that we bring God in first. We acknowledge the presence of God in our lives, the power of God in our lives, the grace of God in our lives, the mercies of God in our lives, the unmerited and He God's unconditional blessings upon our lives. Don't use your own strength. Don't depend on your strength to do anything. So here, the Bible is telling us that Tomorrow does not belong to you. It belongs to God, the creator of heaven and earth. Ochina enya mena wadiya. Enti ebiye ya noa. Yen kase nyame pa meye. Nyame pa ebebem. Ewe nyame is the Lord who does everything. He's the maker of heaven and earth. Psalm 24, one said, the F is the Lord and the fullness thereof. So whatever we will do, 
Jesus Christ is the source. So we should always connect to the source before the resource. We should always be connected to the deliverer before the deliverance. And I pray that may he help us. May we not depend, may we never depend on our own strength. The Bible said the arm of the flesh will fail you. I pray that you and I, whatever we do as a nation, as families, as individuals, as groups, I pray that you will rely on the power of God. This day, wherever you are hearing my voice, may you rely on the power of God. Have you begun a new business? You have begun a new thing in your life. I pray that depend on the power and the grace of God. May God be with you. May the Lord empower you. May his grace be sufficient for you. He who anointed Jesus. He who empowered Jesus. He whom the Jesus trusts and Jesus put all his confidence in the spirit. And the spirit empowered him and he accomplished every task the Lord entrusted in his care. I pray that whatever the Lord has entrusted in your care, may you rely on his power alone. May you rely. The other day the Lord said to the prophet Zerubbabel, Zachariah, that tells Zerubbabel that it's not by mind, it's not by power, but by my spirit. May God be with you. May he empower you. May he strengthen you. May his grace be sufficient for you. I'm Reverend Foster Kofiampov, Minister of Presbyterian Church of Ghana, Minister in Charge of Revival and Resurrection Congregations. Peace and life to you. Bye-bye.